When it comes to cute Aussie critters, it's hard to beat a baby koala. Aww. Or just any koala, really. Meet some of the newest additions to the Cleland Wildlife Park here in South Australia. Although these guys look pretty chilled now, they certainly had a rough start to the year. So all the koalas we have in this enclosure have come from Kangaroo Island. So they were rescued from the bushfires over there. So these koalas um, weren't too badly injured, but they were very much displaced. Their habitat had been lost by the fires, which means these koalas don't have anything to eat. So even if they've survived the initial bushfire, um, starvation is a very real um, thing that might happen for them. It's thought around half a billion animals died in the Black Summer fires, including tens of thousands of koalas. And while populations in South Australia seem to be doing OK, in northern New South Wales, it's a different story. Recently, the World Wildlife Fund commissioned a study into koala numbers at several sites affected by the bushfires. They found on average koala numbers had dropped by 71%. And at some sites, it was worse than that. With the bushfires, the impacts were substantial. In some areas we saw what could be a complete loss of koalas, whereas in other areas the populations weren't as badly affected. This is Dr Amanda Lane, an ecologist who worked on the study. She says there's a reason koalas were so badly affected by the fires. Some animals are better able to deal with situations like fires in terms of their capacity to move around. Whereas koalas really don't like to come down from their trees. So when, when they feel threatened, um, what they will tend to do is to go to the top of a tree and curl up in that little ball. And that can help in the situation of a cooler fire but of course, in a really, really hot fire where the fire gets up to the canopy, that's a, that's a real disaster for those koalas. She says a lack of food has also been a really big problem since the fires, because the eucalyptus trees koalas love can take many years to grow back. Even before the fires, koalas were in trouble in many parts of Australia because of habitat loss due to logging and development, as well as climate change diseases and introduced species. In fact, some are worried they could become extinct in some areas by 2050. It's at a little bit of a, a tipping point right now and it very much depends on what we do in this situation as a society, what we do as people right now if we want to save koalas. Back in South Australia, thanks to the hard work of wildlife carers, these little fuzzballs are facing a much brighter future, full of gum leaves, naps and cuddles. And many are hoping that we humans can work together to secure the future of their threatened cousins out in the wild.